This video is going to define skepticism. Prior to watching this video, you should have seen the article on the Understanding Science website about being a skeptic. In that article, it talked about skepticism versus openness. Because one of the facets of science is that new ideas are not accepted quickly. There needs to be well-established hypothesis or hypotheses. They need to be tested. Evidence needs to be collected. And before something becomes a theory, it has to be accepted by the scientific community. That's why we say that there's not very much openness in science, because new ideas need to be sure that they meet all the guidelines of skepticism. So what is skepticism? This is something very important that you should probably write down in your science notebook. Skepticism is the act of questioning claims and examining support in terms of evidence. Scientists ask questions all the time. If a new idea is proposed, then they're going to be skeptical about it. They're going to ask, what does the data say about such a claim? Is there enough evidence to support this new idea? If a phenomenon is to be explained, it must be reproducible as an explanation. And scientists will ask, what is the driving force behind this to cause the phenomenon to occur? A very important thing to think about when you're looking at something and being skeptical or using skepticism, the big idea is that scientists are doubtful. By nature, scientists doubt new ideas until there's sufficient evidence for that idea to be accepted. So anytime you see the word skepticism, always think of being doubtful. With being skeptical and doubtful, that causes scientists to be very cautious of new ideas. They oftentimes put up roadblocks so that there are no quick judgments to new ideas. All scientific claims are scrutinized, which means that thoroughly scientists look at these ideas to make sure that the evidence supports the claim that's being made. In addition, in the scientific process, we saw in the purple circle, verification, checking over those data that suggest that a phenomenon occurs. That's the rigorous testing that must go, uh, a claim must go through in order to be considered scientific. Now, skepticism causes new ideas to have to stand up to scrutiny and make sure uh, that they are truly scientific. With scientists being skeptical, it makes sure that all new ideas, all new hypotheses are met with doubt. It requires that new ideas be independently tested and verified before is considered to be accepted knowledge. And that takes a long time. Sometimes it could take years or it could take decades for new ideas to become scientific and accepted by the scientific community. Why be a skeptic? Well, it's important for scientists to be skeptical because it ensures that real scientific knowledge is being gained. It also causes scientists to be wary of pseudoscience or false science. That is, something that looks scientific, but is only disguised as scientific. This sometimes can happen in uh, claims for new health products. It may look very scientific, but it's in fact false science. And remember, not everything that is printed or put on the internet is true. Sometimes things are written, put on the internet to confuse people or mislead them about the true nature of science or claims. So it's always important to be a skeptic when you see something that is being claimed on the internet or in print. And another thing that we oftentimes are confronted with are old wives tales. This is considered wisdom that is being passed down from generation to generation due to somebody's age. However, hence old wives in the title, um, sometimes these are not true. Um, for instance, 
uh, it's been suggested that you can catch a cold by not having a jacket on a cool day. Well, we know that colds are caused by a virus, a type of disease-causing pathogen. However, we do want to avoid hyperthermia, so it is a good idea to wear a jacket. But it is not the only way that you can, can uh, become sick, correct? You need to have some type of pathogen. In review, skepticism is a state of being doubtful. Scientists always doubt new claims until they can be tested and verified. And theories are not made quickly due to the large amount of evidence that are needed to support them. This concludes this video. Be sure you do the activity that follows this activity on the webpage.